The children quietly waited in the classroom, dressed neatly and ready for Quran class to begin. One student whispered to another, I'm sure our teacher has met the Prophet of Allah. The other replied, Oh yes, he must have. Another child said, My father says that he was playmates with Imam Hussein when he was young. The first child chimed in again and said, So, he must have seen the Prophet of Allah. The door creaked open slowly, and the children quickly scrambled to sit in their assigned seats. Abu Rafi peered inside and then leaned against the door as he slowly took off his slippers. As he entered the classroom, the rusty door hinges creaked loudly. The students quickly stood up and respectfully greeted their teacher. Salaamu Alaikum. Abu Rafi smiled and replied, Wa Alaikum Salaam. Abu Rafi walked towards his desk and sat down. Out of respect, the children waited for him to sit first, and then they sat. He began taking attendance by asking for each child's name. As he came upon one child, he asked, What is your name, my dear son? The young child answered, My name is Hussein." Abu Rafi paused and smiled while he gently whispered to himself, Hussein, oh Hussein." As he was about to move on to the next child, he heard a quiet voice. Oh teacher, is it true that you met Rasulullah and you played with Imam Hussein? Abu Rafi smiled and replied, Yes, yes my dear son. I was Imam Hussein's playmate. We were the exact same age. The sunlight peered through the window and through the shimmer of the light, you could see Abu Rafi's eyes twinkle as tears began to well up inside. Tears began trickling down his cheeks. Wiping them, he continued, he was the best of playmates. One child asked kindly, Oh teacher, can you please tell us a story of your time with Imam Hussein? Abu Rafi did not hear though, as he was deep in his thoughts, still wiping away the tears from his cheeks. Again, another child asked sweetly, Can you please tell us a story of Imam Hussein? Abu Rafi looked up and placed the Quran on his lap as he looked back at the children. He smiled and asked, What would you like me to tell you about Imam Hussein's childhood? One child said, Tell us about the games you used to play. Abu Rafi laughed softly. You want to know about our games? He swallowed hard and continued. While I was growing up, I would love playing with him. One of the games we would play was digging holes. After digging a hole, we would take some rocks and try to throw them in the hole. If you missed the hole, the next person had to try to hit your rock with his rock. If you were able to hit the other person's rock, they would have to give you a piggyback ride. Imam Hussein was very good at this game, but his voice trailed off as he chuckled. The children excitedly asked, But what? But what? Abu Rafi looked playfully at the children and said, You see, Imam Hussein was very intelligent and he played this game very well. I would always see him playing and riding on the shoulders of his grandfather, Rasulullah. The Prophet would walk proudly with Imam Hussein on his back. When Imam Hussein would see me, he would wave happily at me. One of the children begged, please continue. Abu Rafi again playfully teased the children. You really want to know? All the kids shouted in unison. Yes, Tisha. He continued. Imam Hussein was very good at games, but he would also joke with me. Many times, while we were playing the game of stones, my rock would hit his rock, and he would have to give me a piggyback ride. But he would jokingly tease me. Do you really want to ride on the shoulders of someone who has ridden on the shoulders of Rasulullah? I would say, no, of course not, you're the grandson of Rasulullah. Then, when he would hit my stone, he would say, it's my time to ride on your shoulders. I would reply, really, but you didn't give me a ride. Imam Hussein would smile at me and tease. But don't you want to give a piggyback ride to someone who would ride on the shoulders of Rasulullah? I would realize what an honor that was and smile as Imam Hussein would ride on my shoulders. You might be wondering how I managed to carry Imam Hussein on my shoulders. Well, that's the miracle. He paused. Maybe I'll continue this tomorrow. The students begged, No, please continue! Abu Rafi smiled and continued. You see, when Imam Hussein climbed onto my shoulders, he was almost weightless. It felt like there was nothing on my shoulders. And in return, 
Imam Hussein would hug me and show kindness to me. This happened many times, and to this day, it is one of my favorite childhood memories. The children all giggled at the story. The sunlight from the morning was now shining brightly through the window and upon the classroom. Abu Rafi again looked towards the children and picked up the Quran from his lap and said, All right, children, it is time to begin our Quran class.